Okay, welcome back. So what we're doing now is we've gone to c9.io and we're going to sign up for a free account. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that now. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. Alright, so once you've logged in, you should see this environment. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new workspace. So we'll just call this intro to get, you can call it whatever you want really. Leave all this stuff uh, how it is by default. And then click create workspace. So this will just take a second and we'll let it load. All right, cool. So once Cloud9 opens up, they already have one directory named after the whole workspace and inside that directory they have a hello world.html file and a readme file and that's the markdown file so that's what we're looking at right now we don't need either of those so we'll just right click and delete yes right click and delete cool all right so down here at the bottom this is our terminal and this is where we're going to be entering all of our git commands. So the very first thing that you have to do to get git ready to go, and like I said before, on C9, git is already installed, so we don't have to do any installation. But if we've just created a new project, then we have to set up what's called a repository. And a repository is essentially a file system for git that's hidden, and when you initiate it inside of a project it immediately starts tracking your code for you so the first thing we need to do is create a project to be able to track so we're inside of workspace we can use ls to see if there's anything in there and there's not so we will type mkdir that's make directory and we'll call it intro to git so you'll see an intro to git inside of the intro to git and now if we type ls, there's our intro to git. So let's cd for change directories into intro to git. And now we're inside of intro to git. If we look around, there's nothing inside of here. All right, cool. So the very first thing we want to do to get git going is use the command git init. So this initializes git inside of whatever directory that we're inside of. So it even tells you a little message here, initialized empty git repository in, and then it gives you the directory here, and you see this dot git. So if we do an ls, we don't see anything. Interestingly enough, now it says master in parentheses right here next to our path. And what that means is that we're on our master branch of git. We'll talk more about what that is later. But if you see master, then it's safe to say that git has been initialized and you're ready to go. However, we're going to double check. We'll do an ls-a. That'll show all files and directories inside of the current directory, even if they're hidden. And now we can see .git. And that's the directory that has all of the stuff that git needs to be able to operate. So we don't have to mess with it at all. We just need to know that it's there. So go ahead and create a directory with mkdir change directory into that directory and once you're in it type git init then type ls-a and if you see the dot git directory then you know that everything's set up correctly and once again the dot at the beginning of the folder name means that that directory is hidden